Hello and welcome to a slightly late fail race episode. We start this one with Drifto on GTA 5 playing around with the AI. Now it can be very fun to try and make them freak out. He goes to jump in a ruin and amazingly manages to use his body to roll the AI car over. I had to slow this one down. It's a seriously impressive roll. Two of uh, <laughs> and you know, the play is fine. He's alive. We'll get back up again. Having rolled a ruiner twice. That's... Yeah, that's some that's some good going. Uh, Cyber Twin 2 on GTA 5 is playing what's going to quickly become the old style of a uh, stunning map. He's trying to line his car perfectly up for the ramp when someone else respawns and he gets deposited off the area. Yeah, that's not the uh, not the best of luck. Neither does Derp IV have the best of luck when he angers the GTA 5 gods and they decide to punish him by dropping two trucks on him. I've played much GTA 5, and I can't say I've ever had vehicles spawn directly on top of me, let alone them being two trucks. That is, yeah, you've really pissed someone off for <laughs> to want to do that. Amazingly, he's fine. He took very little damage, actually, at all of that. Bike is a little bit smoky. We're up next on to uh, Asphalt 8. I am assuming that uh, there's some bonuses to be gained from uh, from doing spin. Never played this game personally. As the, the Ford GT first goes soaring off the bridge, tries again, wanders a little too far. This time, not quite soaring off the bridge. Does a grind that Tony Hawk would be proud of, but uh, does sort of fail the dismount. And uh, now, well, the car can't really move. Can fire the nitro all you like, but uh, the car is stuck. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. Uh, Philly Thunder on Rush Rally 2 has run a little bit wide. He's trying to gather it all back up. It is Impreza. Doesn't. Clips a tree. Does many a spin. Stays on the side. Does steer out of it. I suspect if he hadn't, the car would have stayed up there for... Well, probably as long as uh, you could have wanted it. Lamborghini Dude 5 on the crew. Now, we've seen the Tuareg have problems in cutscenes were rolling over before. This one's even better, though. It bounces down the road on its roof and flips and twists until the player takes control of it again and the game panics and kind of just, yeah, <laughs> bites itself. Apparently, the, uh, the Rally Tuareg has some problems. Uh, up next, Paddy Fancy on Train Simulator 2016 uh, finds out that, um, yeah, if the slidings aren't quite set rightly, rather than the train just slowly derailing, it actually gets launched up into the sky. That is a very violent crash. That is a very violent crash indeed from the uh, train there. Uh, Dogger on the, uh, the old sneak peek for a uh, next car game, tries to get through the turbine, misses, fails, and then gets absolutely destroyed by an AI car. That is some silly, pretty much tore the car in half lengthways from that car. That is a seriously, seriously impressively painful wreck. Simon Racer on GTR 2 gets things wrong at Bathurst and, well, the Viper decided it wanted to be on its roof. That's an odd, an odd way to roll as the, as the back end sort of starts letting go. The car kind of just digs into the tarmac and it goes round or goes over I should say sorry yeah that's um an unusual place and way to roll over black and red 81 on fallout 4 is uh, using some vats to get rid of uh, one of the, the wild dogs the car was impressed and decided to give a uh, celebratory fly I've played a lot of Fallout 4 as well, and I've never... Uh, I mean, there's all sorts of peculiar bugs and so on that go on with it, but I've never had a flying car. I'm disappointed. Uh, Mr. Waffles on Need for Speed 2015 has just respawned after having a crash when he spots a van being rather lazy. This isn't the first time we've seen some piggybacking going on between AI cars, but this Hot Wheels van is taking it to a whole nother level. I mean, that, that's not the conventional way of using a taxi, but it works. I mean, they're going at sort of 50-ish miles an hour. In fact, they're going slightly over 50. That's some really good going from the taxi there to be able to carry the van that sort of distance. On the tour, Just Cause 3 with a rare Gliscor 1 competing in one of the races. Now, we have seen bridges cause little problems before. Not normally sort of full-on backflips, and surprisingly, well, a little bit of a bouncy landing does manage to get away with. We've seen sort of bump caused by bridges but that is yeah quite um quite an impressive uh, stunt we are toy gatone on a just cause three next who spotted the rebels have got some relatively advanced technology it does need a bit of work though this is some active camo on one of their trucks unfortunately the driver and the gun are still visible as for some reason is the driver's door 
I'm not quite sure what is so special about that door as to why that is, you know, still perfectly visible. The best thing is it's all still fully functioning, so you can jump into the turret. That will still work, you know, the, the collisions are still there, you can walk into it. So, out of curiosity, he decides to get in the uh, other rebel truck to uh, see what happens if you crash into it, and it kind of moves as you would sort of expect, and then gets very angry and everything explodes. So, yeah, it's it's quite it's quite dangerous. I'm not quite sure what the front of that... The, 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 the front of a vehicle, I'm not quite sure. Is that the car that he drove up in? Cut in half, possibly? But yeah, that's um, some interesting rebel tech. Does need a little bit of work. Uh, Kazux97, uh, also on Just Cause 3, playing around with the tethers. These are great fun. I love the tethers are the best things about Just Cause 3. Most definitely just luring AI cars around. The cardboard boxes have had enough. Maybe Snake was in there, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Cardboard boxes have certainly had enough of the shenanigans as the Super Mini gets launched up into the air. And finally, Mr. Chaotic on uh, F1 2015 has uh, spotted an opportunity to try and get past two vehicles. Unfortunately, three cars into that section don't quite fit. Um, and however, while his Mercedes is wrecked, Ericsson is having a worse day. Look at it go. That is an impressive bit of breakdancing from <laughs> the Sauber. Look at it spin. That's a big crash for the uh, for the Sauber. Yeah, as he spins back across the road, it's one of the manners that does the uh, damage. As he starts flipping and twisting, and all sorts of all sorts of bad things are happening now for <laughs> the poor Sauber. Amazingly, while the manor was DNF, the Sauber's okay. He gets reset. That's a big that's a big big accident. However, that is uh, going to be it for this week's Ferraris episode. If you have uh, clips you would like to submit to the series, then you can via our forums. There will be a link in the description. At the very top of the page is the Ferraris clip submission section, and you can find all of the rules and how to submit them in there. But uh, that is it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.